name is Joseph A. Montemurro. I was in the Air Force of the United States and I was in the Medical Corps. I am an MD, a graduate of Yale University School of Medicine. My retirement rank was captain. And as I said before, I was in the, in the Air Force and uh, I was in the Medical Corps, which means uh, doctor, and I served there for two years. My duties were uh, working in a, our clinic for a, a medical house call, taking care of the boys who were ill, who had infections and things like that. My second duty was to take care of the flying personnel, which gave me the privilege of flying with a number of the different pilots to see how they reacted to the cold climate. <clears throat> My other duty was to deliver a baby uh, now and then because many of the officers and sergeants had their wives up there and everybody was very fertile. And uh, it gave me pleasure to bring in a new life which I hadn't done much of before. And it helped stimulate me for my life's work. And my fourth duty, I would say, was to uh, inspect the uh, quarters and the food and everything else that is done by different people here in the States. As I said, in the service, including everybody, we all had several different jobs uh, in addition to our primary job. I was in Greenland, and during which time had uh, many duties to perform, which was for, for which I was not formally trained. However, the, uh, the magnificent uh, college and medical school I attended to uh, gave me enough uh, confidence to handle just about any situation, especially when you're the only physician to do it. And it's interesting to state one little thing. Uh, during the night, while we were all trying to sleep, a, a GI came in with a terrible toothache. And we had no dentist. Uh, the dentist who had been there was on leave, and he, and he wasn't going to come back for uh, several weeks. So they called me up, and I looked at the kid. I wanted to kill him, but uh, figuratively. And uh, I gave him a shot of penicillin, I gave him some codeine tablets, and I said, take one every four hours, and uh, I think this will go away. Well, the next night, he came in again, and he was really suffering. So I said, well, what are we going to do? We're going to have to take out your tooth. He said, have you ever taken one out? I said, no, I haven't. He said, well, you're a doctor, aren't you? And I said, well, of course. He said, well, then do it. So I checked here and there with him. I didn't give him any anesthetic for it, local anesthetic. And I asked the technician who was a dental assistant, I said, well, give me whatever instrument the dentist uses, I'll use it. He brought out the Ron Jewers and he says, all you have to do is squeeze and take it out, doctor. So I did. I took it out, it came out smoothly. I know there could be many complications, but there weren't. And when, he, when the tooth came out, the kid felt immediate relief and uh, never bothered me again. So I want to say I took, uh, I delivered, I mean, I removed a, a molar once in my life and it was, a, it was kind of a thrill.